Third day of protest and more arrests on Wall Street today. At least five people were arrested as hundreds of people gathered to protest what they say is corporate greed. Eyewitness News supporter Sarah Wallace is live near Wall Street with more. Cops hauled away this woman in handcuffs this afternoon. Her friends say she ignored a police order to stop riding on the sidewalk with chalk. The crowd taunted police, but there was no violence. That was also the case this morning, as several hundred galvanized by an online movement called Occupy Wall Street chanted and marched through the financial district. We're hoping to clog up the streets, keep people from getting to work, and um, derail the financial system because it's not working for most of the people on this planet. They didn't derail the system and never walked on Wall Street. Police set up barricades and limited access to residents and office workers who had to show ID. I'm trying to get to my office. I don't want to be late for work. And I'm being blocked by this madness. They say they're all about liberty for all, but there's little room now in the plaza for non protesters. You guys have basically taken over the park. Right, so we feel like it's our home now. Um, How long are you going to stay in this? We're hoping as long as we can, weeks to months, as long as uh, we really create a social movement and come up with some demands to be achieved. Police are only saying that anyone blocking pedestrian traffic will be arrested. The protesters say peaceful change is their message. I'm personally here for my parents because they work so hard and they don't have a lot to show for that. Back here now at Zuccotti Park, which is also known as Liberty Plaza, the corner of Liberty and Broadway. It is where the protesters have set up shop. They have their sleeping bags. They have their boxes of food as long as they do not set up tents. Police plan to leave them alone. Live from Lower Manhattan, Sarah Wallace, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Sarah, thank you.